Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. Wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was lift. Gotta get a bitch, I lick. On my shot, we lit. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Whole lot of bad little bitches. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto, coming back at it again with another daily DGen update. Now, you guys already know, man, I always take the weekends off. Family time is extremely important. We spend a lot of time behind the charts. We spend a lot of time, you know, trying to chase these uh, pumps, these dips, all of that. And throughout the week, man, you know, that pulls us from our families, that pulls us from our loved ones. So that's why for me, man, it's always important that on the weekends, or whenever it's family time, I always take that serious. So for all you guys, you know, I know you guys want, you know, videos on the weekends. However, I got to take a break, man. I got to be able to move around. I got to be able to enjoy the crypto gains that we're getting. So I know how you guys understand, but just wanted to throw that out there for all you guys who was asking. But anyways, if you guys are brand new to my channel, this is a D-Gen Yield Farm channel. So if you guys are brand new to Yield Farming in general, I suggest you guys check out my tutorials. Ask a whole bunch of questions in the community telegrams. Would you guys kind of get a wrap around everything? Come on back. I do promise soon I'll be updating all the tutorials with advanced tutorials as well as just updates for the current year. But besides all that, I always go through the BSC farms first, then I hit the Phantom, then I go through the AVAX, and lastly I hit the Polygon. So if all you guys want to do is check out either the AVAX, Phantom, or Polygon, feel free to check out the timestamps listed below. All I ask is you guys smash that like button right before you go. But anyways, man, let's get started. So first one up on BSC, and literally the only one you guys have is B Yield Farm. Now there are a couple other farms, you know, like a thousand Lagos, or you know, just there's a few other farms. It's just they're really sketchy. The liquidity is way too low. And if you guys are gonna be jumping in trying to swing trade or trying to farm, you know, you guys are most likely gonna be losing money. Which is basically why I'm only bringing B yield up to you guys. Now, for all you guys that were in the pre sale, you guys remember the pre sale was 10 bucks, all right? So, obviously, if you guys got in the pre sale, you guys are still up. However, you guys can see right here, man, this is what everyone was doing. Everyone took that pre sale and everyone started farming, me included. So, I do have a bag in here farming right now. My uh, wallet's currently uh, hooked up to uh, Phantom, so that's kind of why it's not showing it. But, anyways, dude, this is where I'm at. I definitely took profit when this bad boy hit $21. So for everyone else who got up in that range, awesome. You know, everyone took profit. I was included. As soon as it hit back down towards, I think, like 14 bucks, I actually threw in a little baby bag, which is most likely my profit. I'm pretty sure it might have been a little bit more past my profit. And then I just threw it back in here to let it, you know, continue farming till the uh, farm starts. That's basically the uh, private farming. But now... The uh, public pools are already open, so you guys come down over here to the public farms. You guys will be able to see that. You guys will be able to throw some stuff in here. So if you guys want to come in on the native side, go ahead and jump in. Try to find, you know, a nice little dip for you guys to jump in. Find a nice entry. Like I always tell you guys, you do not want to enter up at the top. So make sure you guys find a nice place to jump in on native and go ahead and run in. For non-natives, <laughs> the APRs look pretty low, but like I said, dude, if you guys are willing to stick around here for about... If you guys are willing to stick around here for about you know a few days maybe a week then go ahead and check these out but yeah man basically anyone who's in private farming make sure you guys move your funds on over to the public side or just go ahead and pull everything out take your profits whatever it is but you guys already know the deal man everything's pretty much regular come down over here hit the more read your docs and then check out that price chart all right if everything looks good go ahead and jump in if you guys don't like it or you guys you know don't trust the farm or it's on a downtrend then, like I said, there's not really anything else strong on BSC side. So, if anything, man. <clears throat> so, if anything, I would recommend that you guys check out the bridge video. So, you guys can either jump over to Phantom or jump over to Matic. Because the fees are actually a lot cheaper over there. So, it's basically the exact same as farming over here on BSC side. Except just cheaper fees. Which will allow you guys to compound more often. You know, just you guys will be able to make better moves because the fees are a lot cheaper. But I'm pretty sure you guys already know the deal. So... Anyways, B Yield Farm is all you guys have on BSC side, so if you guys want to jump in, go ahead and check it out. Yeah, but that's basically it for BSC side, so let's go ahead and move on over to Phantom. And the uh, first one up that we're going to cover is going to be Morpheus. So Morpheus is back on an uptrend. It's not extremely super strong. You know, it's kind of bouncing up and down. However, if we check out the uh, tech tools on that, you guys can see, you know, you guys dropped down to about 316, a little bit lower from where the farm was. You guys recovered heavy from the 280, which was pretty cool the other day. I think it was like on Saturday or something. 
But um, yeah, man, basically it's been about a good day or two from climbing up. However, the last day, which was yesterday, it's been on a downtrend. So anyone who, you know, picked up early on, you guys have been fine. Anyone who picked up at the top, you know, you guys have been hurting. However, if you guys held anywhere from here, like at 350, well, today you guys are fine. So like I always say, man, <laughs> crypto man's pretty crazy. Sometimes, you know, it's just nothing but dumps and other times it's just a whole bunch of pumps. So make sure you guys check out the price chart before you guys decide to jump in. However, everything's basically the same. It's pretty normal. So just come down over here, read the more, read the docs. And then for the price charts, coming over here to where it says listings. And you guys have um, either Spooky, you guys have Keck, or what you guys were saw right now was Zucoin. But yeah, man, Morpheus is still going. So like I said, find an entry and jump on in. If the farms or the pools basically, you know, aren't good enough, whatever, like the APRs are too low, then, you know, just go ahead and pass. If you don't know if the farm is going to completely fall apart or die or whatever's going on, throw in a baby bag. If it pumps, cool, you know, you're going to get a nice little pump. If it dumps, that's all right. You know, it wasn't a $500 or a $1,000 bag. So it's not like you guys are losing money. So like I always tell you guys, dude, I always do the one-fifth um, thing. Sometimes, you know, I throw in half, but it is what it is. On this one, this is what I do one-fifth. I didn't really trust the pump. I didn't know if this was going to, you know, fly up or if it was going to dump. But as you guys can see, you know, I'm basically 10 bucks up and I have a baby harvest. However, since we saw the chart, everything doesn't look like it's on a, you know, a steady uptrend. So... I might end up just pulling this out, waiting for it to dump again, and then once it finds its second floor, maybe around here after the correction, if it looks steady and it looks like it's going to start slowly going back up again, then I'll go ahead and jump in again. But like I said, you know, price charts, right? <laughs> That's what uh, rules everything, so make sure you guys check out Morpheus. If you guys are on Phantom, you guys will be alright. And just check out the price charts, you know, right before you jump in. But yeah, you guys already know what's up, so link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Next one up. Olive, this bad boy has been super dumping. So for everyone who's been asking me if I think it's going to recover or any of that, it doesn't really matter whether, you know, we think it's going to recover or whatever. What matters is the price chart. That's what I tell you guys all the time. So if you were up here at the $1.70, you should have exited it when it hit $1.60. If you bought in at $1.60, you should have left when it hit $1.50. If you guys were in at $1.50, dude, you guys should have been gone at, um you know, $1.40, $2.00. So... For anyone who was in here, dude, if you guys are riding it all the way down, thinking it's going to go up, yeah, that's bad practice. Those are the plays and the moves I keep trying to tell you guys that you need to correct. Whenever you guys are losing money, you guys got to figure out what you did, and then you guys got to correct it. So, like I said, if you guys basically saw your money drop all the way down, I'm sorry, bro. There's nothing we can kind of do to help you. That's why I always tell you guys to exit as soon as you guys can, you know, take a little licking on the chin. Let's say you bought in at a $1.60, all right? And then um, when you looked, it was $1.50. If it's still on the downtrend, you know, if it hit $1.45, you should have just took that on the chin and left. If you would have left at $1.45, trust me when I say today, you'd be feeling really good. But, like always, man, sometimes people learn lessons the hard way, and <laughs> that's just the way it is, right? So, for everyone who keeps telling me, you know, why I keep telling you guys that the price chart is the most important thing, well, there it is. Now you guys understand why. So, if you guys want to check out all the swap, make sure you guys pay attention to the price chart. If it does not stop dumping... You stay out, you just pass, and you move on to one of the other farms. So, if you guys want to check it out, man, you guys already know what to do. And next one up, Onyx. So, Onyx is pretty chill. It actually recovered, and, you know, that's pretty dope, right? So, everyone's pretty happy about the fact that it recovered basically from the grave. If we pull it on back, you know, it dumped so heavy. We're talking, like, 7s, 8s. And, um, yeah, man, it recovered. So, you guys are looking at a nice 2x. For me, you know, I was always over here in that uh, boo farm, and I've been sitting here since the beginning. I also was sitting here in the native while it was pumping, because like I always tell you guys, whenever it's down, I like to compound. And if it ever comes back on up and everything, sweet, you know, I go ahead and I get to take all that profit up at the top. And, uh, you know, if it never does recover, well, then it is what it is. I'll just take whatever, you know, I got extra from farming, just sell everything off. So, shout out to everyone who <laughs> stuck in with Onyx over the weekend. You know, you guys got blessed today. I think it was like 18, almost going on 19 earlier. So, you know, shout out to you guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, it is what it is. So you guys want to check it out, like I said, read those docs, and then just check out the price chart. Link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. And next one up, JetSwap. <laughs> All right, so JetSwap announced their Phantom over the weekend. And, you know, I kind of wanted to bring up the video, and <laughs> I wanted to do it, but... Man, dog, there was no way I was going to be able to make the video yesterday, like, at all. So, it is what it is, and, you know, now I'm showing you guys today. It launched early in the morning, and it flew, I'm talking, like, it flew up, I think it was, like, 
10 11 bucks or something like that so a lot of us were able to take some good profit and for everyone else who basically held and farmed well that's another lesson learned right so always pay attention to that price chart once it starts dumping or you know dipping that's the time you guys got to get out profits always profit unless you guys just you know watch it go away so make sure you guys pay attention to that all right but anyways man jet swap just like polygon and just like you know binance it's basically the same thing come down over here hit that more read the docs besides that you know check out the farms or the pools whatever looks good go ahead and jump in if you guys find you know a farm that has a really fat apr go ahead and jump in if you guys want to go non-native you know it's cool too just pay attention to uh what the fee is and you guys should be okay but anyways man <laughs> like i said dude jet swap it's been on a bunch of other chains so you know it shouldn't be new to you guys if you guys want to check it out i'll have the link down in the description and just like i said just make sure you guys pay attention to the dogs and a hundred percent pay attention to that price chart all right but you guys already know the deal so next one up we're gonna go with zonster all right so zonster has been pumping and um you know it is what it is right anyone who was able to jump in while it was 130 something you know you guys are being blessed obviously not a lot of people jumped in here because of how low the liquidity is so this is another farm with extremely low liquidity just like iClaws or the others I have no clue if the devs are actually going to add more liquidity or if that's all they got. So, you know, if you guys are jumping in here, pay attention to price impact. All right. I'm going to say it one more time. Price impact. When you guys go to, you know, click on buy. I'll do that right now for you guys. We'll go ahead and click, uh, you know, continue, understand. And we'll say, you know, you want um like, you know, 600 bucks. Right. So you'll click on $600 and you're not going to receive $600 of um you know of zon you're actually gonna receive you know 17 percent less so let's just say uh actually for mathematical purpose maybe we'll make it a little easier let's go ahead and hit some usdc 500 bucks of this usdc is gonna get me uh 2.299 so let's say this is a uh, 2.3 all right let's go ahead and flip it back around and um let's go 2.3 so right out the gate after selling off, I'm getting $372, all right? Mind you, when we flip it around, that costs $500. That's what I, I paid $500 for this. And if I decided to sell, I would immediately be at a loss. So <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys kind of get mad or don't understand why I talk the way I do or, you know, talk about certain farms the way I do. And I hope that, you know, clears out some misconceptions. I'm not a hater on these farms or whatever it is you guys are talking about. You know, market cap and liquidity, it's extremely important. So, like I said, dude, just pay attention to what you guys are jumping into or what you guys are asking for. And on that note, Phantom Cougar, same thing. Hey guys, trust me when I say, man, this pre-sale is not going to go well because it didn't go well on the last farm that they had. These devs, it doesn't matter whether they're on a different chain or not. If they're crappy devs, they're crappy devs. So everyone who remembers Cougar Swap remembers that that bad boy sucked. So if you guys are going to jump in here, do not jump in here thinking you guys are going to 10x or whatever. If you guys do 2x or whatever, awesome, you know. Uh, be yield 2x, so that's great. But like I said, dude, pay attention to that liquidity. If the liquidity is way too low, it's going to be exactly like Zonster where you're not able to uh, pick up anything, you know. You guys are going to buy $500 worth of something and then, you know, you guys are already going to be basically $130 in the negative so you know just pay attention to that and that's basically why i'm always trying to shoot you guys towards the other farms like morpheus or jet and all that but you guys already know what's up right so anyways man that's basically it for phantom so last minute shout outs like i said definitely check out jet swap pay attention on morpheus if that bad boy is still pumping jump in and then um onyx it's transfer tax token so you guys are going to be at a loss of 10 percent if you guys go native you guys are going to lose five percent when you buy it and then when you guys go ahead and sell, you guys are gonna have to, you know, lose five percent. So as long as you pay attention to all that, you guys will be all right. But you guys already know the deal. So give me a second to move on over to AVAX and we'll pick it back up. All right, guys. So we're over here on AVAX. First wanna jump through real quick. Dragon's Lair. So Dragon's Lair is still on the downtrend. <laughs> still doesn't look like it's recovering. However, it's you know it's been staying around seven bucks for the past couple days, so if anyone, uh, you know, wanted to jump in and check out the farm, right now would probably be the, uh, you know, best time to kind of jump in and play around. However, if you guys check out these APRs, like I always tell you guys to do, if the APRs are too low, there's no point to jump in. 
if you guys believe that drag is gonna climb back from seven you know fifty on up to like whatever eight nine ten bucks then all right cool you know getting that profit while it climbs up plus you know the five percent is good however all farms have to die eventually so you know you guys always have to know when to call it quits if uh, you guys were already in Dragon's Lair, then like I said, just like me, just go ahead and take all your profits, enjoy everything, relax, move to another farm, and just keep your eye on it. If it looks like it's recovering, or the dev or the team, you know, starts bringing up um, another layer for the farm, or for a different use case for the Dragon, um, what is it called, the Dreg, instead of the NFTs, then you guys would be alright. Obviously, everyone who was there for that whole NFT thing, everyone knows that the reason why that massive sell-off happened was because nobody else could buy any more of the dragon uh, little NFTs. And the only way to buy them was with Dreg. So since no one could buy them anymore, they had no use for Dreg. They didn't want to farm it. I guess all those people only wanted NFTs. So they sold off. And that's basically why that uh, dump happened. So like I said, dude, just keep this farm in your back pocket. Check up on it every once in a while. If it looks like it's climbing on up, go ahead and jump back in. The only reason why I'm telling you guys to keep an eye on it is because they are going to have a layer two. So as long as you guys are paying attention to that, you guys will be alright. But yeah, man, if you guys want to check it out, you guys already know what to do. Next one up, Storm Swap. So Storm Swap, I kind of just left a tiny little LP running. You know, I didn't really care so much. And um, yeah, I mean, it's actually pumped out a nice little uh, harvest, so that's pretty chill. But for you guys, like I said, pay attention to that price chart. And if it looks like crap, just stay out. If you guys are new or you guys were thinking about Storm Swap, I would say do not jump into Storm Swap. I was just in here because, you know, I got in around like sub two something. Uh, I forget how much it was, but I could afford to lose that. So, you know, that's no big deal for me. But for you guys, like I said, you might not be able to lose that. But yeah, man, it is what it is. So if you guys are brand new, just pass. Don't jump in here. And for everyone else, just pay attention to Storm Swap because they are supposed to be coming out with another layer or something. So as long as you guys are close to the TG, you guys will be all right. But um, yeah, man, next one up we got Singular. So Singular, <laughs> you guys can already see, man, already have from the last time where it was at. So for everyone who keeps asking if this is going to recover, I could keep telling you, dude, not all farms recover all the time. Once a farm has kind of, you know, did its whole run, then that's basically it. If you guys check out the BSC side or the Polygon farms, you would understand what I'm talking about. But for everyone else, man, if you guys are still in here compounding or farming, go ahead, you know, get whatever you guys want. As long as you guys are making profit, that's all that matters. If you guys are losing money and you guys are not in profit, I keep trying to tell you guys, man, you guys need to bounce. But I'm basically a broken record, so if you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. But yeah, man, that's basically it for AVAC. So, like I said, give me a second to move on over to Poly, and we'll continue from there. Alright, guys, so we're over here on Polygon. First one up, Delirium. You guys can see, man, that price, it dumped so hard over the weekend, alright? So... For everyone who's been paying attention to the price charts, like I always tell you guys, you guys were completely fine. There was no harm done to you guys. You guys were able to jump out with your profit, relax, and just watch it while it dumped. For everyone else, you know, all you guys who are brand new, all you guys who are brand new to the channel, and I guess brand new to farming in general, I hope that's a lesson for you guys if you guys held on. You know, I know I've been hearing a lot of people say they were, they were holding on from $1.20. Someone said $2 something. Someone asked if it was going to go back to $4. And it's like, yeah, man, dude, that's not the way these farms run. So like I always tell you guys in the beginning, if you guys are brand new to degen yield farming, you 100% have to understand that this is a different animal, right? Things are a lot faster. These farms can pump and dump way faster than regular yield farms. That's the reason why we're able to get, you know, such crazy profit. So, like I always tell you guys, man, pay attention to that, all right? But, like I always said, man, sometimes lessons are expensive, sometimes they're cheap. Delirium seemed to be a pretty expensive lesson for you guys, and it is what it is, man. I've always paid my lessons, and now you guys are paying yours. So, as long as you guys are paying attention to that price chart, you guys were fine. No harm, no foul. You guys are all right. For everyone else who wasn't, you know, you guys basically got hurt pretty bad. And here, all I had was the, uh, I think it was like $2 or whatever it is in here. So, that's not doing nothing. That's basically $0.55 cents for a whole uh, week or something like that. My BTC, I pulled that BTC out. And that BTC is over here on the next farm, which we'll cover in a bit. But, like I said, dude, this one was dead and out. So, as long as you guys got out on the weekend, you're all right. But, anyways, man, let's just keep it moving to another one that dumped. <laughs> So Polypup Collar, also have from the weekend. So like I keep trying to tell you guys, as long as you guys were paying attention to that price chart, 
you guys were fine. This is obviously old news. You know, you guys dealt with this like a day or two ago. So it is what it is. For everyone else, like I said, man, don't expect prices just to come, you know, climb on back. If you guys were in here while it hit 20 bucks and you guys were expecting to jump back, I would definitely curb that enthusiasm for sure because, yeah, man, <laughs> you guys are going to be let down. But for everyone else, you know, we already know what's up. Everything in this farm is basically the same. The APRs are the same, so there's nothing new to go over. So if you guys want to check it out, link will be down in the description. You guys just go ahead and make your moves. Just pay attention to that price chart right before you enter, all right? And next one up, Polywise. <laughs> so oddly enough, Polywise was not one of the ones that completely dumped to death. Oddly enough, right? <laughs> so anyone who was in Polywise, yeah, I mean, you guys have been doing it. I think there's some guys that were talking about that were in at like a, a buck fifty to almost like a, a buck sixty, you know, $160. And they've been farming for the past, I guess they said like four or five days. So, you know, shout out to you guys. I want to make sure I shout you guys out. You guys are monsters. Obviously, I didn't catch it like that, but yeah, man, you guys are beasts, all right? Anyone else? A lot of us were in the 250 range going on close to 300 or whatever, so, you know, cool for all of that. Obviously, for me, you guys already know, man, I still have my Ave. It's still sitting in this little pool over here, and the only reason I have it sitting here, to be honest with you, is just, you know, to wait for that damn market to recover so I can pull Ave out back at 460 where I threw it in. But yeah, man, it is what it is, so for right now, I'm just letting it get me a little free uh, farm and i'll just keep selling off even if this keeps dumping i really don't care as long as i just keep getting something for free so every single day i just hit the little harvest and i sell off so today is going to be the same thing and i think this is about like a get about like a buck 50 or something a day or something so obviously it ain't a lot of money but right now the only play for my ave is just to sit and wait for the market to recover for it to you know recover back to somewhere where it was at and you know it sounds like you just get some free money so this obviously isn't a good play for me, but it is what it is, man. Money's money. If you guys want to check out Polywise, pay attention to that price chart. If you guys can find a nice entry, go ahead and jump in. Link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. And for some other sad news, Cavion, same thing. For all you guys who keep asking me if Cavion's going to come back, if it's going to recover, once again, no, it's not, all right? So you guys have got to make sure that you guys pull your guys' stuff. Whatever it is that you guys have, you need to pull them out. Always pull profit, all right? That's extremely important. doesn't matter what it is or what's going on. Just pull profit. If you guys are going to watch your guys' um, you know, profit drop, if you guys are going to watch the price basically go from like 10 bucks all the way down to you know, a dollar, then just understand that that's something that you have to correct. But yeah, man, there's basically nothing else to go over. So like I said, that's how these farms go. And if you guys are in here, just pay attention to those price charts. If you guys do like the APR still and you know you guys somehow believe that it is going to recover, then go ahead and make your moves. You, know? you guys don't need to be waiting on me. But for everyone else who's brand new, I would suggest you guys pass. But you already know the deal, so let's just keep it moving. Next one up, Skull Finance. This is that uh Skull one. A lot of you guys were asking if this is going to go back to a dollar something. Once again, dude, that's not the way these farms work. So as long as you guys are in there making profit while the farm is pumping, while the you know market cap is pumping and everything, you guys are fine. Once it's on a downtrend, which is basically everyone is taking profit from the farm, that's usually when the price starts dumping pretty heavy. And even if it doesn't get to recover fully out, once people decide to take profit again, it's going to dump even more. So you guys got to understand that, all right? DJ and Yield Farm is definitely about taking profit. It's not about farming for a whole month straight and then, you know, getting 100x after the month. That's definitely not the way it works. So so just make sure you guys pay attention to all that. You guys will be all right. If you guys do want to jump into Skull Finance, you know, like I said, just pay attention to the farms. If the APRs look good, you know, like the Skull USDC, this looks pretty good to me, dude, 12%. If it looks good, then go ahead and check out the price. If the price chart looks good, if we click on the price chart, let me see. Uh, let's go ahead and hit it up real quick. If it looks like it's on an uptrend, jump in. Right out the gate, dog, I can tell you guys right now, do not jump in. Look at this. All it is doing is dumping. So just stay away from this whole thing right now until you see an actual uptrend. So if we move back a bit... Oh, damn, looks like we got to move back so far. Look at this downtrend. You know what? 100% just stay out of school, all right? For all you guys who are new and just you guys are having a hard time deciding, just stay out. Obviously, that's on a really bad downtrend. So until that actually recovers or whatever, then I would decide to, you know, come back and take a second look at it. So, yeah, man. <laughs> but anyways, dude, that's basically Skull Farm. So, <clears throat> but yeah, dude, that's basically Skull Finance. So, if you guys want to check it out, like I said, just run through the motions and then, you know, pay attention to that price chart. And last one up, 
we got is Poly Dragon. So I told you guys about Poly Dragon, uh, what, like Friday or Saturday or something like that, just to make sure that you guys were able to jump in. And obviously, dude, it went wild. Everyone knows what's up. It went wild. Um, I actually hit the harvest and I harvested right here. I harvested uh, 13 of these little bad boys. Most of it came from the um, actual farm up here. And some of it came from the BTC. Like I said, dude, I always just, you know, take my little, uh, my alts. And I just move them farm to farm. Whichever farm is paying out the highest APR, that's where I'm going to jump in. And for the first, I think, two days, dude, this guy was running, like, easily 1,000 to, like, 1,200. So I was pumping out clean money, dude. So I've been taking a nice amount of profit off of Poly Dragon, And you guys already know what's up because I know all you guys are in here with me. <clears throat> If you guys are brand new, I would say you guys pay attention to that price chart. Come down over here, hit that FAQ, because that's the docs, all right? And as long as you guys are checking everything out, you guys will be all right. Come over here and hit see that little price chart right now. You guys can see it's definitely on a correction from the highs that it had. So obviously, you know, it doing two to almost like three bucks, you know, that's pretty heavy. That's basically where it came down from. And if we're looking at this price chart, we're seeing that, you know, this is that downtrend. And about right here is where now it's looking pretty sideways. So... Obviously, unlike that Skull Finance that just kept dumping down to the floor, this looks a lot better. So if you guys want to find an entry here, try to enter at a bottom. I understand it's extremely hard to actually catch these bottoms, but this is where you guys want to catch in. So if you guys can buy in at any bottom or the middle, that'll be best. Buying in the middle isn't always that great because like you see right here, it could actually pump and then just immediately dump back down. And you guys are back to square one. But you guys already know what's up. So like I said, just pay attention to the price chart. You guys will be all right. If you guys read the docs, you guys will know that this one has like a locker system similar to like pair zap and all that. So what you guys can do is over here, you guys could either hit the reinvest and that would reinvest whatever you earned. It uh, would go straight over here to this D gold and then the other half goes to your locker. Or you guys can click like the little arrow and then you guys can just harvest. So that's basically what I did for this one. I just clicked harvest on everything and you know, it's pretty easy. Everything goes to the wallet. The other half of this We'll go to the little locker. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, if you guys want to check it out, just run through the motions, find a nice little farm, and you guys will be all right. Link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. All right, guys. So next one up, Cafe Swap. <laughs> so Cafe Swap kind of snuck in there a bit. And to be real with you, I didn't really know how to kind of take it. You know, the last Mocha and Brew didn't do so well. However, this one is doing extremely well. If we come over here and check out the farms, you guys can kind of see why. So you see over here, man, the APRs, they're definitely not insane. So they're not going super wild, which is to be expected. However, the old, you know, Mocha and Brew, those ones are popping pretty clean. If you guys can see the non-natives, they're extremely low. So <laughs> obviously, man, shout out to whoever these millionaires are, bro. They completely dumped that one out, but it is what it is. So, I mean, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to, you know, come on over here, run in. Now, one thing I would say is be wary because there's kind of a reason why they're doing that. Most of them are going to be compounding for a bit. And I don't know how long that bit is, all right? So if you guys can just imagine all of them taking all their funds for about a day or two straight, dropping them back into the uh, regular uh, pools and just running them over here also as LPs as well, you know, that that's, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of profit. So just keep that in mind while you guys are farming. Especially when you guys see, you know, farms that are doing big numbers. So, anyways. Uh, <clears throat> so, anyways, everything. So, anyways, man, the usual always applies. Come over here, click more, read the docs. After you guys check out the docs, make sure you guys check out a price chart so you guys know when to enter and when to jump out. It's extremely important. If we were looking at the uh, price chart up in the beginning, you guys can see, you know, it was doing like a dollar something. However, earlier it was a lot lower. So, like I always tell you guys, man, price chart is key. But you guys already know the deal. So, but besides all that, man, the farm is basically the same. So, if you guys are familiar with Cafe Swap or familiar with Brew or the original Mocha, it's basically the same. So, you guys will be all right. Link will be down in the description. If you guys want to check it out. And that's basically it for Polygon. So, like I said, man, last minute shout outs. The only ones you guys that are looking pretty good, poly wise, that one seems to be all right. Keeping up, uh, you know, past 180, which is pretty chill. So just pay attention to price chart if you guys are going to go native. And then besides that one, man, like I was saying, dude, uh, Poly Dragon, Poly Dragon Smash. And so make sure you guys pay attention to that one. You guys will be all right. And then lastly, you guys got Cafe Swap. So 
whatever one uh, looks clean, whatever APRs look high enough for you guys, make sure you guys just move your funds over and, you know, just pick and choose, try different moves, write them down, see what works and what doesn't. But you guys already know what's up, so. But, yeah, man, that's been my time, so. If you guys like my con, like always, smash that like button for me. Drop, kick it, hit it with the people's elbow. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. You guys can see, man, I answer everybody. I ain't shot. If for some crazy reason, you know, I can't answer that question because I'm not up or awake, check out the community telegram. These boys are DJ and monsters already, all right? I taught them everything I know, so trust me when I say, man, they're going to be able to help you. They're from all around the world, which means they're up 24-7. So whatever question you have at whatever time, someone will be able to help you. And besides all that, man, this is like the second, fifth. 10th video of mine, yo, that you watched, and you still ain't hit that subscribe yet, yo. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> alright, homies. Y'all stay up, alright? Peace.